Okay, everyone. Guess what? We're back with some more. Fallout 3 Lookout Point. Yes, sir. So, I'm a little annoyed right now, actually, before we get started. Um, yesterday, I tried uploading some videos, because um, I wanted to get these videos out on the first day that this downloadable content came out, so that people would actually start watching it a lot. But my sister actually canceled the downloads while I was at work, so all the videos I tried to upload yesterday didn't work. So right now I'm trying to upload um, one video just so I can get it out there so people will know I have it. Uh, I'm doing these videos. So I'm a little annoyed by that and you know I probably lost some subscribers and some views because I didn't upload it fast enough. So I'm, I'm, I don't know I'm a little ticked off about that. And um, hang on I'm eating food right now. I know I always usually do when I'm doing videos whatever. Um, we're going to be doing some more Lickout Point today. And, um, I'm going to be telling you a story that happened to me yesterday, which is actually kind of funny, creepy, and weird. But, um, hang on, let me get a bite real quick. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. Top ramen is the best. I love it so much. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. I'm sorry about this taking so long. Okay, I'm back. Okay, let's get started. go ahead and get started. So we last left off, just checking the mic, we talked to this lady, and we found out that she's a vendor, and um, she sells stuff, and we bought some stuff from her, sold some stuff to her. This looks like a shooting gallery, actually. You know, one of those old-timey shooting galleries? Kind of cool, actually. Um, ooh, milk bottles, that's nice. And it's a Rob. Move along, Can I talk to him? please. No, okay. And look, it's ski ball. And more ski ball. Let us play ski ball with my flamethrower. I win! I win! Burn everything! Okay, I'm done. That is a lot of fucking uh, pinball machines. Look at all these. And strangely, they're all the same. God damn. There's a lot of them, too. Uh, anyway. So, let me... I guess I'm stuck in my throat. Mm-mm. Uh-um. jump over the wall. Bumper cars! Yeah! Burn the bumper cars! Burn the... Yeah, yeah. Anyway. So, um... I'm gonna start walking around and exploring this place with you guys. I have never seen this place. This is brand new content for me. So, whatever I find is going to be brand new to me and to you guys, if you haven't already played it. And I'm getting shot. What the- what I get hurt by? Oh wait! Enemies. Um, oh, they're just bugs. No problem. Yeah, these flies are no big deal, really. It, it takes like one shot from any gun I have to kill them. See? Burn them alive. I love watching little bugs get roasted alive with my flamethrower. Ooh, it's a rat. I burned you alive too. Ha <laughs> Anyway. So yesterday, um, I was actually at work, but before that, in the morning, I was sitting in the parking lot of my work. I work at a theme park, it's not all that exciting. And um, I was just sitting there enjoying some music before I had to start my shift, and some crazy guy I saw sort of walking toward me. So at first I thought, he's probably just a customer asking for help. He sees that I'm wearing my uniform, probably thinks, okay, I'm going to ask this guy for some questions. Well, as he approaches my window, he looks at me and he kind of like has a smile on his face. And it looked a little, you know, off the beaten track. Like it didn't really look like he was all the way there. And, um, basically he was like, hey, how you doing, buddy? What are you doing? I'm like, I'm about to go to work. Why are you asking me this? He's like, ah, dude, you gotta you got do your stuff. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do your stuff. He was obviously whacked out of his mind on some kind of drug. I'm not sure what. Safe to say, I was very frightened by this guy, and I thought maybe he was going to kill me. 
But of course he didn't. After uh, talking to me for a while and basically asking me what I was doing there, he kind of left. Something tells me he thought that I was trying to like sell drugs to people because my work, the theme park I work at, it's kind of in the ghetto um, for where I live. It sounds kind of funny, but it's true. And um, anyway, so then after that, I had my work and I worked for about eight hours. It was a long shift. Um, I was very tired after that. One of my buddies from work um, decided that he wanted to go to the movies with me. So we went to the movies after work, and um, the movie didn't start till 10 o'clock. And we were there for about an hour, and we were kind of just walking around downtown and kind of just not doing anything. And um, at first we were going to go see Star Trek, but uh, I'd already seen it, and he said he wasn't really all that much into Star Trek. So we ended up going to see um, The Hangover more, or er, instead. And The Hangover was a really funny movie, but um, I wouldn't re recommend seeing it if you're not a, if you're a kid, because it uh, has a lot of nudity in it and um, a lot of sexual contents, and not the good kind. I mean, the kind of like gay kind of sexual content that makes you throw up and vomit. And I'm not trying to insult the gay community or anything like that, but I'm just saying like even they would vomit from watching some of the stuff that goes on in this movie. But other than that, it was a really funny movie, and it was very, very, um, well, hilarious. I'd probably watch it again if I had the right people with me. Anyway, so after that, um, he, we basically, um, left the movie theater, and, uh, the first thing I saw, actually kind of funny, really, was, um, I was gonna sound kind of rude, but I saw some girls making out with each other outside the movie theater. I was like, awesome. Didn't say anything about it to my friend, but I was like, that's really awesome. You know, girls making out, awesome. What the hell? Um, new enemy type people. Look, it's a tracker. I was looking on the box of the actual downloadable content, and um, they said that there'd be locals that are hostile. So I'm guessing he's a local. I don't think my flight throw will have too much trouble burning. Whoa, actually, yes. Yeah. Come on. Wow, he's tough. Look at this dude. God damn. Wow. Oh, he's got the same strength that um, one of those death claws would have. That, that's not good, actually. And I guess there's one other person over there I see. I'll probably be switching to a stronger gun. What's this guy? You, boy. Creeper. <laughs> I like that name, Creeper. Weird. Um, so apparently there's hillbilly oh. with shotguns. There are mutants Alright, that's kind of creepy. Lever action rifle? Doesn't really sound all that great. Does he have anything on his body? I'll take that. Moonshine? Wow. They're really going on with the whole, um, hillbilly kind of thing, aren't they? Well, anyway, so after I saw the lesbians, um, are they just like fishing? Oh crap. I think I just killed a couple of innocent people who were trying to fish. Can we, like, push the boat out? No, the boat sinks, apparently, when I stand on it. Awesome. So anyway, I um, saw the lesbians, and I was like, wow, that's awesome, those lesbians. You know how it is. I'm a guy, whatever. And so then I went to go drop my friend off. Well, I didn't know, you know where he lived, and it turned out he lived in an area that was, like, ridiculously far away from where we were. And, um, what's this? Panga fruit? Oh, so this is panga fruit. This is what it, this is what it grows from. Okay. It doesn't really look all that healthy. Alright. So I can pick it, I guess. Awesome. Um, hang on, I just want to see how much weight it, it takes. Uh, where's the panga fruit at? There it is, to the bottom. Oh, so the the panga fruit, it gets rid of some rads and gives me 10 HP. And the weight, I think, is like 1, it looks like. Well, I'm just going to eat it. Because I could use the health, and um, I don't really know what it's good for yet. Anyway, so... After that, um, it turned out he lived like 20 minutes away or 30 minutes away in the woods from where we were. So I had to drive him home because uh, it was too late to take the bus. And on my way back, I ended up getting lost. 
and I drove around in the woods for about an hour, hour and a half. And this is at one in the morning, mind you. And it was like pitch black out, no houses around, there's no people. It was one in the morning. And I was driving around for like an hour and a half when I finally I found the road that I was supposed to be going on. And I actually did end up making it home that day. Funny enough, on my way home at 1.30 in the morning, I saw two more lesbians walking home. Uh, and they were holding hands and they were like kissing each other. Really, I don't know what was going on with yesterday. It was like some crazy crack dealer. I had random lesbians making out with each other all day. I went to go see The Hangover. I had an eight hour shift. I got lost in the woods. Yesterday was just an insane crazy day. And today we're playing Fallout Point Lookout. So anyway, um, seems like a good place to end the video. Thanks for listening to my story and I uh, hope you enjoy, you know, more videos from me in the future. So I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye.